I don't think I had honey today, Pooh. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. dear. Oh, no one likes that <laughs> sticky no, stuff. Yeah. Hi everyone, how's life? And welcome to a very, very special vlog. Today is Friday, the 17th of March, 2023, and it's the very first preview of Winnie the Pooh, the stage adaptation musical, which you can kind of see in the background, those cute little um, red and yellow balloons. But yes, I was very, very lucky to have been here for the very first performance. It is after the show, but I'm gonna tell you all about it because I had a blast. So this show, as I said, opened up today on the 17th of March, 2023, and this is a preview still, the very first preview. It hasn't had its opening night yet and I first heard about the show I want to say about half a year or so ago maybe about six months ago I actually booked my tickets I want to say in September of last year so like I said about six months ago pretty much because I was so excited I really wanted to make sure I'm here as soon as possible because I love Winnie the Pooh I mean who doesn't before I get to the actual show let me tell you about the venue where the show is being hosted in it's at the Riverside Studios near Hammersmith um, which is a place that I've never actually been to I've been to Hammersmith but obviously not to this particular venue the Riverside Studio so number one I was very excited just to come here for my very first visit and it's a very lovely space really nice space they've got restaurants they've got bars nice little place to chill out as well before and after the show if you wish to and then the show itself was in studio two um, so yeah again a nice little auditorium not very big at all small intimate venue which works so well for a show like this with loads of puppets now you can hopefully see the view from my seat at the moment it was a pretty amazing view I was on the second row B17 was my actual ticket and because I purchased this ticket quite a while ago now I purchased it like I said around the end of last year 2022 and now we're in March of 2023 I forgot that with my ticket actually came a meet and greet after the show so make sure you stay tuned for that because as you would have hopefully seen a preview at the beginning of this video that's a very special moment where I actually got to meet this bee's beloved characters Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore and Piglet so keep watching for that but for now I want to quickly talk to you about the show itself so the show is only about 65 minutes long it's quite short there is no interval it's only one act and this makes sense because it's meant to be a family show there were loads of children watching the show at the performance that I was at um, loads of adults as well a lot of people had to come on their own adults like myself um, some people had to come again without children but there were also loads of children and that's what I love about this this is very much a family show and the length of the show as well with it being only just over an hour absolutely works for any kind of audience and any age the lighting has suddenly become quite uh, interesting here but the story of the show basically if you've watched any of the Winnie the Pooh um, films movies TV shows or if you've read the books obviously Winnie the Pooh classic iconic character very well known everyone knows it. it's very nostalgic for a lot of people a lot of people would have grown up with him and his friends so as you can imagine the story isn't necessarily anything complex it's about Winnie the Pooh and his friends and you kind of get to go on a little adventure with Pooh who's looking for honey and that's kind of what it's all about at the end of the day so it's about, it's about friends it's about love it's about sacrifice helping each other and getting that honey at the end of it as well so overall I would say the show is just so cute it's so charming it is just so beautiful to look at and everyone's gonna enjoy it it's very heartwarming I had such a lovely nostalgic hour just sitting there and sometimes hearing little children around me laughing or just enjoying themselves and also like I was sat next to an adult and she was also very happy and it kind of just made me realize how incredible this iconic bear has been throughout so many people's lives and so that's why I would say you should come here don't expect this incredible storyline or anything but come for a charming beautiful story with beloved characters that we all love so that's basically the plot of the show I didn't really give anything away because there isn't much to give away it's just a nice cute story but what I will say is that my favorite thing was the puppetry so the set was obviously pretty cute but the puppetry and the puppetees the performers all of them I think there was about five or six of them on stage and I will get their names later on they were phenomenal. I was so in awe of them, all of them, particularly Pooh, because Pooh Bear was on stage for about 75% of the length of the show. Um, so for the first like 45 minutes, he was on stage. And as you can imagine, the performers obviously have to work the puppets. Um, the guy playing Winnie the Pooh especially obviously had to bend down quite a bit to make it work. And you will get to see all the puppets a bit later on as well. Like I said, keep watching because I got to meet them all and it was, <laughs> it was a special moment. But yeah, I, I, I can imagine it being just very hard work but they all did a phenomenal job the voices were so on point and honestly at times it was very difficult to actually look at the actors I was just looking at the puppets themselves and that's just a sign of an excellent job by all of them so yeah I am gonna get to all of them later on for now I think you have waited enough it is time to go and meet these lovely characters on stage Woo! Oh, <laughs> 
Hello everyone, hi Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi to go, you alright? Oh, <laughs> love the show, you're all amazing. Oh, you're, all so <laughs> you're so very welcome, you're very welcome. <laughs> Would I have a breakfast? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I had honey today, Pooh, oh. I'm so sorry. Oh dear, <laughs> no one likes that <laughs> sticky no, stuff. No, you don't <laughs> like them either, Tigger. <laughs> um, not, not that either today, no. Oh, I just, I know, oh, and maybe tomorrow I'll, maybe I'll try. Tomorrow. Yeah. There You're right, Eeyore. <laughs> I haven't found it yet, oh, no, but I really oh, hope you find it, Eeyore. You. I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> Oh, how cute was that? Also, I just remembered I have this in my pocket. So, in one of the scenes towards the beginning of the show, basically autumn happens. So, we kind of go through different seasons throughout the show. And when autumn happened, which happens to also be my favorite season of the year, they had some leaves falling down and I managed to just catch one. It fell on me. So, I thought I'd keep it as a souvenir. There seems to be a quite a big merchandise stand there behind me. So, I think it's time to go and have a look at that. So, this is the merchandise stand for Winnie the Pooh, the theater show. You can see they're selling quite a lot of Pooh bears, there's Tigger up there, Eeyore, and, and I'm gonna lie, I'm kind of tempted to buy one of them. I'm torn between Tigger and Eeyore. Probably gonna go for Eeyore, and I really don't need any more plushes, but it might have to happen. And you can see the prices here, they also have the program, the new musical stage adaptation. Uh, the program, it says over here, is, oh, Souvenir Storybook, £15 for the program. You've got a t-shirt that you can buy as well, which is very cute, I love it, look at Pooh. Um, they've also got a tote bag, and then I think a poster as well, and then oh, this piglet over here. And again, this is a nice a closer look at Winnie the Pooh. And it's the Pooh Bear from the stage show, which is pretty cool to see. Also at the moment, there seems to be an offer on, special offer, buy all four stuffed toys and get a free tote bag. So if you want all the characters, all the lovely friends, Pooh, Tigger, Piglet and Eeyore, then you can get a free tote bag. And we've got the cast list here as well. Meet the new residents of the 100 Acre Wood. So there you go. Honestly, all of them were phenomenal. Every single one of them. Fantastic performers, incredible puppetry. Absolutely loved it. And this is where I did quite a lot of shopping. <laughs> I didn't expect to, to be honest, but how can you resist those beautiful, cute plushes? I can give you a couple of seconds so you can guess which character I ended up buying in the end. You can kind of see him peeking from the bag, but. Yes, of course, in the end, I had to go for Eeyore. He is so soft, he's adorable, and I love that they're specifically made plushes for the stage adaptation of Winnie the Pooh, the musical, because just their designs, like this is exactly the puppet on stage as well. The Eeyore that you see on stage, if you come and see the show, is gonna look exactly the same. And I've actually got a number of different Eeyores at home. I do really enjoy the character of Eeyore and what he stands for, to be honest, and how they all kind of keep him included. All the Winnie the Pooh pals, the 100 Acre Woods pals, despite Eeyore not always being happy, they always include him, I love that. And you can see here, it says, Winnie the Pooh, the stage adaptation. So you can see that it is indeed from this particular musical at the Riverside Studios in London. And I believe this is also going on tour, so I'm gonna talk about that later on as well. But I'm very happy with this. All the plushes are 25 pounds each, so you can choose which one you want. I was torn between this and Tigger, and maybe one day I'll get Tigger too, but I feel like I made the right choice. Let me know which one you would have gone for. The actual tote bag as well, look at it. Look how cute it is. Now, I genuinely do not need any more tote bags, but I just had to get this because it is adorable. Look at Winnie's face here. You've got Winnie the Pooh, the stage musical. It's written here, hopefully. There you go, you can see it on this side. And then the cool thing is the other side actually has a different design. Look at that. Again, same thing on the bottom, Disney's Winnie the Pooh, the new musical stage adaptation, but it's Winnie just chilling, I guess, waiting for his honey, and here is some kind of his, uh, just his top half of the face. But I did also get the program, which actually is more than a program, believe it. This is like a full-on book. I mean, look at that. This is a hardcover, hardcover back book. Again, you've got that Winnie the Pooh logo on the front, and then on the back is Winnie with his honey. But yeah, really, really good quality by the looks of it. Obviously, this is a Disney show, and the Disney normally do produce good quality things. So let's quickly go through the book together. I'm probably not going to show you every single page, but I haven't even looked at it myself yet. Oh my God, look, this is an incredibly well, good quality book. Look at that. Those of actual, oh wow. This is 
this is amazing this is definitely worth it and initially i was like oh it's a bit expensive for what it is but no this is an actual full-on like i said hardcover book with loads of information inside it by the looks of it you got about some information about the music the sherman brothers of course phenomenal and it actually has the story as well of the show that we would have just seen so especially for kids i feel like this would be an incredible uh, book to have you know you can read it to them or if they all the kids they can read it themselves and for adults as well it's just a nice thing to keep as a souvenir i love this this is so so worth it so you've got the whole story there there you go and then some information about the costumes like i said i'm not going to show you everything we've got of course christopher robin as well and then some of the properties and who's done them the creative director jonathan rockefeller of course yeah this is amazing really cool oh look at poo look at poo's face over here with the butterfly i loved the poo puppet i think poo and eeyore were probably my two favorite puppets look at you oh my god Oh, how adorable. Yeah, all the puppets were amazing. I think the only one that I was a little bit hesitant about was actually Rabbit, just because Rabbit looks the most different, I suppose, to what we know of. But even Rabbit was still cool. And then um, we had Kanga and Owl, literally all of them. Owl was really fun. Kanga and Roo, you can see them all here. And some of the puppeteers again here. Let me just quickly flick through them. So, yeah, phenomenal. This is. I'm so glad I bought this. I would say if there's one thing you buy, um, by coming to the show you should definitely get this book because it's a fantastic souvenir from the show so there you go I've got the specific cast list for this performance as well, the 17th of March's performance. So we had Jake Basil, Alex Cardell, Benjamin Durham, Chloe Gentles, Lottie Grogan, Laura Bacon, Harry Boyd and Robbie Noonan. Robbie played uh, Tigger. Um, Alex Cardell played a number of characters including Eeyore and I thought he did an amazing job and then I believe um, Jake Basil is Winnie the Pooh and he was phenomenal everyone I'm just not, I'm not gonna go into detail but they were all fantastic and it's just my heart feels very happy I would highly recommend the show to absolutely anyone if you have children absolutely come like you definitely don't even think about it bring them here it's quite a casual vibe as well so even if you have little kids like I, I saw quite a lot of parents kind of take the children out kind of in the middle of the show and bring them back in etc it's chill it's not that serious of a musical it's also quite short so it's not it's just kind of the vibe doesn't require you to necessarily be completely silent as long as you know the children are respectful and don't shout or scream or anything which nobody did they were just kind of you know pop in and out of the auditorium if they had to i think it's just um it's an easy show for them to enjoy and uh, if you're an adult who loves only the three if you love disney if you love good theater if you love puppetry which i'm a big fan of i love avenue q i love most shows that have puppetry in them um especially good puppetry and this is good puppetry for sure then it's so cool to just come and see how this production has managed to bring these well-loved characters to life i've just watched the tardis over there as well all the way down there at least I think it's the hardest anyway. But with that, I am going to close the vlog. I've had an incredible late afternoon here at uh, the Riverside Studios in Hammersmith, London. The show, like I said, was only about an hour long. Started at 5 p.m. And I believe um, normally they also have earlier shows as well. So the later show is actually at 5 p.m. You're not going to find 7 o'clock, 8 p.m. shows for this show. But um, there you go. Pooh Bear, Tigger, Piglet and Eeyore, who I also have in my bag over here. What an incredible time that I had. Let me know in the comments down below if you are planning to come and see the show. Like I said, I think it is going on tour, so I'm going to leave the link to the stage show down in the description if you want to check it out yourself. If you're planning on coming, let me know in the comments down below. I believe it is more or less sold out for the first um, week or so of performances here in London anyway, but check the website or come to the box office here. This is the box office just there behind me. And you might get lucky, but with that, I am going to head out now. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't, and subscribe for more videos. I'll See you in the next one. Bye.